right, so we're trying it again. <laughs> day, day, no, day number two. Does it count? Or is it redo day number one? <laughs> Christmas Eve, we tried to set out and then, and everything was going well. Put up sales and I even got cocky, did the video and posted it. Um, and then Chris realized he couldn't find his phone. And I looked on find my phone on my phone and see that his little bubble of the face is showing up back at the marina in the parking lot. So we're like, oh, gotta go back to get the phone. Um, it's not just because we can't be, you know, disconnected for a while, you know, from a family of friends and apps or such. The problem is to work, which we're gonna be gone a long time, need an authentication app. So it's a must have phone. <laughs> Um, and so uh, we turned around, went back, and the plan was to drop the dinghy and uh, he go back to the dock and go retrieve the phone. Uh, which already we knew that, oh well, hopefully we can fish the key back from under the door that we left for the office so they could move the car if they needed to. Um, which they were out Christmas Eve. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, you know, and I would just hover around uh, for a while out there um, right outside of the marina. But uh, put the dinghy down, motor started, which I was surprised. I was like, oh, what if he has problems with the dinghy motor? Uh, and, uh, the, but the problem was it was very choppy, very choppy, and he lost footing and ended up uh, falling onto the gas can and breaking the uh, feed for the fuel uh, right where it, it, it attaches on the... This looks great. <laughs> this is the uh, epoxy fix of it. Because to put it nobody's that gonna it have dry. anything like that on Christmas Day. We did hope when we woke up that we'd find it in our stocking that was hung. <laughs> no luck. Santa Claus don't visit us. No, he doesn't put it in a neoprene. It was a red neoprene sock hanging in the shower to dry. And I thought, hey, we hung the stocking. <laughs> but no, he did not bring us a new uh, top for the gasoline uh, tank for the dinghy. Um, but yes, yeah, last night we, we, we uh, had to scrap, we had to uh, pull the dinghy back up and go back into the marina and dock and then we looked at it, it was 6.20 p.m. We, we looked at each other and said, well, maybe this is a sign from God, we weren't supposed to skip mass. <laughs> so we're like, oh, we can make the 7 p.m. So we went into the 7 p.m. mass and then uh, I had made some turkey and some sweet potatoes at night and we relaxed and watched the Christmas movie and uh, slept well. So when we woke up this morning and running through everything, you know, there's a lot of difficulties with even just staying in that marina. Even the marina itself has had freezing pipes. They, we can't use their showers, toilets, and sinks anymore. We don't have water from them anymore. Even afraid to do pump out there. So it's like we have to get to warmer water, period. Um, it, it's just not survivable here or we just scrap it. Well, the water temperature in the marina uh, went down to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, just above freezing. Well, when you're trying to do heat pumps that's trying to cool the water off, that just turns into ice and the heat pumps would freeze up and wouldn't flow water, therefore not heat any longer. So. There was either an option of winterize the boat and drive away in the car, or drive away in the boat and try to go somewhere warm. Because um, the wind is not, it's dead. Um, I think we've got five knots of wind, and it was easily supposed to be predicted double that at least. Um, so we're not getting much help from the wind, unfortunately, right now. Um, Yesterday would have been a lot better day to sail all day. Mm -hmm. um, normally all the forecasts are conservative and the wind out here is higher than the forecast. Um, not this go. There's just no wind out here, or very little. Um, we'd probably be doing a knot and a half or something. Um, so we're motor sailing with what they call motor sailing. And just sit and try to stay warm and and try to enjoy the, we need to enjoy our time. 
It, it is Enjoy nice to just be moving. Honestly, it, it, it's very frustrating to be stuck in the marina when we really intend to get to the Bahamas. And just, just enjoy being on the boat, and it's hard in, in, in that freezing cold. Uh, but, you know, that was where we had to make the decision this morning to go ahead and just epoxy the part and hope that that will work when we do need the dinghy later. Um, otherwise, we'll be hopefully at a city where we can get the new part. We'll just have to see. Well, it's not a new part. It's a new gas tank. Or a new whole tank, just because I'll keep this up. Yeah, something. it's it, this throwaway society has got to quit. Yeah. Um, and the parts shouldn't cost half the co half the price of the tank. You know, if the whole thing costs seventy bucks, then I expect a part to cost you know ten or fifteen, not thirty five. So, and I can't even find this part. They don't do the pickup tube on this brand new gas tank. I can find the other parts, the other, t there's three parts to the gas tank. A pickup tube, a float, uh, like a fuel, uh, just a float fuel gauge, and a gas cap. And that's the three parts to the tank. And I can find a gas cap for 35 bucks. I can find the float for 35 bucks, but I cannot find the pickup tube. Yeah, it's a little chance we take that we don't, you know, we might have trouble using the dinghy. Uh, but we thought we, our, our risks were higher with trying to stay in that. Uh, I don't, temple. I don't think we would have, well, other than the heated blanket, Yeah. this boat would be cold. Yeah, tonight. yeah. So, we're in the Chesapeake Bay, got farther than we did before, and, um, the reason why we're sitting on the floor is because we got the space heater down here. Chris's feet were getting cold. That was one of the problems. I've layered socks in my boots. And, uh, you know, still trying so hard, so many layers and stuff, that it just whips the, you know, the wind will whip. <laughs> the little wind there is, it is a uh, cold air. will take the heat out of you. And so he wanted to warm his feet up on the floor. Ironically, we're, we're monitoring the autopilot from down here on um, the remote gauge, the remote and um, and where we're going yep and he noticed that the boat after after he turned on the heater it turns 90 degrees yeah it turned 90 degrees he's like <laughs> what'd you do because I went out to the hell and I'm like I didn't do anything you turned on the heater because I was like the compass is off you can tell because you look at your whiskey compass and then what the autopilot is saying and you're like it's off <laughs> and I'm like you turned on the heater <laughs> and, but he has it I mean that's what at least 15 feet away, I think. 10, uh, 10 feet 10, away? 15 feet away. From, from the Fluxgate the, compass. Yeah. The, Yet, uh, it'll turn the boat 90 degrees. Just plug in the heater. That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. So if you had to adjust for that, then probably have to readjust if you unplug yeah, the heater. Yeah, when I unplug the heater, it's going to go back 90 degrees. I'm like, great. So we need to figure out a solution with that, the, the unreliability of the compass. Well... We have to get. Um, we also need better wind readings down here, and we need to get more of our salon set up for a second helm, more or less. <laughs> more or less, you know, get all of our data down here um, so that we can be fully independent of the helm out there. But this is our first time sailing in sub freezing temperatures, air temperatures. Um, what is it today? 20... What does the my radar say we're getting for where we're at? 10 right miles now. per hour from the west of wind. It says it's 30 degrees outside fan. It is 30 so degrees. It's so it's freezing. warmer than yesterday. Yes. Well, so I think we've had quite an adventure last night, Christmas Eve, and uh, Christmas Day. We hope that um, God is back on our side since we did go to Mass. <laughs> Donated to the church. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a good day sailing today, and hopefully in a day or two or three, we'll be at Lookout Bike. Wish us luck. <laughs>